Thanks for watching Wood and Shop. I'm Joshua Farnsworth. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of the most essential tools in your workshop, a wooden straight edge. So a straight edge is used to tell you the flat to tell you when a board is flat when you're joining a board so you can glue the edges together and it's also used for laying on top of a board when you're flattening a board on a board face. So it's very essential when you're making f furniture. So I'm going to show you how to make one out of uh, out of uh, nice stable wood like this with traditional hand tools. So the the first thing is to make sure that you select stable uh, stable quarter sawn wood that has vertical grain like this. You can see the grain running straight along. That, that means that it will be a lot more stable. Uh, so why don't I recommend using a metal straight edge? Well, the nice thing about a wooden straight edge is it's inexpensive to make. It's very easy to repair if you ever drop it. If you ever drop one of these metal straight edges, then you're pretty much out 50 or $60. I'll set it carefully over there. Uh, it's softer on your, on your, uh, your workpiece in case you have a fragile workpiece you don't want to dent. With, uh, it's also a lot more beautiful and most importantly it's made by you. So let's go into my workshop here and see how to get started in making one of the first projects you should ever make in your workshop, a wooden straight edge. I chose quarter sawn beach for my straight edge, but you can use other stable quarter sawn boards like cherry, beech, or mahogany. If you're confused about how to choose the right lumber, you can check out my article and video on choosing wood. There's a link below this video. So what about the dimension of the wood? I think that everybody should build theirs with uh, hand tools, with a hand plane. And uh, I, you can choose the dimension, but I chose to make mine around 36 inches long, about two inches tall, and about a half inch thick was the final dimension. So I, I like to just make sure that I plane all of the sides flat and straight and square. Um, if you aren't sure how to do this or how to joint the edges, flat, you can check out my video on how to square and dimension up uh, boards, but uh, I'll, I have a link below this video for it. But uh, the most important part is to, once you've got a flat face, is to make sure that you have a very flat uh, and uh, straight bottom. Choose the, the bottom that's going to give you the very best edge and make sure you're, you're playing with the grain and it will be a really nice uh, reference. So, um, but if you don't have a straight edge to check the flatness of this, just check, use a, a known flat surface like a, a melamine board or a table saw surface or another straight edge if you have one or something like that to gauge the flatness of your, of your straight edge and make sure that uh, it's definitely square to the the sides uh, and that's about all you need to know for dimensioning the wood um, but really you can make it pretty much any size that you want uh, but the longer you make it the more accurate it is but just make sure you don't uh, have a, a scooped over the edge shape or an oval make sure it's definitely flat so I like to put a curve on my straight edge. So as you can see, I created just a simple little uh, frame here to scribe out the arc. So I got some quarter inch wood that's bendable and I marked up with a square to about where I wanted the arc to start. And I drew and I just clamped that. And then you can see I bent it up here. I found the center, I marked the center and clamp this down there and then over there is the same distance down so my arc should be uh, symmetrical. So all you really need to do after you've clamped it up is just start on that line that you made and draw clear around the arch and just take off the clamps and you can see that it's drawn all the way around. So then I'll go ahead and draw on a little profile here, a little overlow 
profile there and the same on that end. Okay, so on the end of the arch here, I'm putting a little uh, ovalo, you can see, and I will actually put a little template with this video. You can look below the video, and uh, or you can use some uh, square and compass to scribe out your own design. And then we'll cut these out and rasp them. So you can see I'm using a tenon saw to cut uh, to cut the the some waste out of there to make it a little easier to get in here with my bow saw. You can see the relief cuts there make it a lot easier. And I'm not going to cut right on the line because I'm going to come back with a rasp, but I'll just get close. And then you can use a crosscut saw to cut down through across the grain uh, to make those relief cuts uh, on, the, uh, on the arch. So after I finish cutting all this off with the bow saw, I take a very sharp block plane and knock, knock this down, keeping the, uh, on this side I can see the actual pencil marks, so keeping that in my sight, not to go over the pencil marks, but just to go up to it. And uh, this is a, a modeler's rasp, and this is perfect for getting these getting the little details. I used to think that, why would you spend money on a rasp? But now I, I realize that a nice uh, rasp is worth its, worth its uh, value. Um, I'll put a link for this below the video. So just take that down until it is, is nice and uh, smooth all over there. And then you can sand it down. Well, I sure hope that you enjoyed that, and I hope that you saw that it's super easy to make a wooden straight edge. So if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and push the blue subscribe button up there so you can be notified of all my videos when they're released. And go check out my website so that you can learn how to get started in traditional woodworking.